Hey guys, it's Dayang. Welcome back to my channel. So today, as promised, on my Instagram Insta stories, I did mention that I'm actually going to be doing an eat tutorial. As per usual, or for the past many years, I have been uploading like an eat tutorial for you guys. This year, of course, I'm going to be doing the same, but with a slight twist. And I've actually asked my followers on my beauty Instagram um, a little bit of help, which is to help me pick out between the two products that I have uh, selected in every category. As the title of this video suggests, it's gonna be my Instagram followers pick my makeup for eat edition. You guys have actually cast their votes. Thank you guys so much for helping me out. It was just, I don't know, I was just so excited to see, oh my god, like which product do they want me to use in that video. So I have already lay them out next to me right now and I have not decided or plan what kind of look to put on so this is going to be pretty spontaneous especially for the eyeshadow obviously i'm pretty excited to film this video as well so let's see what kind of look i am going to be putting on oh can you hear the vacuum it's because my mom is cleaning her room because it is coming oh okay so this is actually going to be a voiceover video because if not this video is going to be a 20 minute long video which is not what i want okay so yeah we'll be getting into the tutorial right now enough talking dayang let's get on Alright, to start off, I'm gonna be applying primer and this is the one from Hourglass which you guys have chosen and I'm obsessed with this primer. It's really great for people with oily skin as well and it makes my foundation last longer throughout the day. So next up, you guys have chosen the NARS foundation. This is a long-lasting foundation but I'm actually not really sure whether it works well for my oily skin. I don't think so actually so um, the other option was actually the mac studio fix fluid which is perfect for people with oily skin so but i guess this foundation it works well for people with normal to uh, dry skin as for my under eye concealer this is not my favorite uh but since you guys have chosen it it's okay i mean it's not very brightening in my opinion at least not for me and yeah but it works okay it's not too bad so to set that under eye concealer i'm using this Koti S Pan. Um, to be honest, I this is actually my first time using it on myself, and I got to say that I kind of like it actually. Normally, I use this for my uh, for my clients, and I usually just put this in my makeup kit, and I've never tried it on my on myself. But yeah, so far it's working really well. And to set the rest of the other parts of my face, I'm using this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent, which is amazing. So now let's move on to the eyes and first of course I'm going to prep my eyelids using this primer potion called Eden by Urban Decay and I kind of like this better than the original one because it has a slight tint to it uh, which is very similar to Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and this actually makes your eyeshadows and eye your eyeliners appear more vibrant and you know a little bit more long lasting as well and to set that i'm going back to that rimmel powder so that you can actually you know i when i apply my eyeshadow it's not too tacky so this is the eyeshadow that i will be using the times nine palette by mac uh, and you guys don't really have to use this uh, palette you can you can just go ahead and use any other similar shades that you already own in your collection so this is me applying a very light transition shade um, concentrating majority of it at my you know around the crease area and I just drag it down a little bit and then going to a matte movie shade I'm just applying it slightly below the eye the first eyeshadow color that I've applied earlier on and you just want to ensure that you have already blended these two shades well because this is like I mentioned it's going to be our transition shade for our eyeshadows so once all of the blending is done I'm going to take this deep burgundy shade and I'm taking like a slightly pointier blending brush and applying that at the outer corner first and as you can see I'm actually like slowly working that shade 
inwards towards my um, center lid which later on I'm not going to be applying later on uh, you guys can actually see it later so just um, work it inwards and at the same time blending it, blending it in <laughs> at the same time and as you can see over here I'm actually applying that exact same shade at the inner corners but you don't have to apply too much because I just want just a slight depth at the inner corners and blending is key so just blend away so for the inner corner uh, on top of that deep burgundy shade I'm gonna put a little bit of that burgundy shimmery shade just ever so slightly and blending in that color at the same time and then going back to that second transition shade I am just gonna pick up a little bit more product and just blend my crease area and then I realized that all of that blending has caused that deep burgundy shade to just fade away so here I am adding in a little bit more color and blending in at the same time so this beautiful eyeshadow pen it was just so freaking beautiful it was actually one of the shades which was used by Alif which was um, one of the makeup artists that um, did a demo during the MAC event that I attended so um, I actually wet that eyeshadow using a fix plus just to allow that shade to be a little bit more vibrant and it's just so gorgeous i i can't so moving on to my lower lash line i took that movie matte shade first and just run it along my lower lash line and then taking that deep burgundy shade over at the outer corners of my lower lash line and then taking that beautiful shimmery shade um, just applying that at the inner corners Alright, and then moving on, I'm going to be applying eyeliner which you guys have chosen, the Clio eyeliner. And this is really good because it is smudge proof, it is budge proof, it is waterproof, every proof that you can think of. Uh, and I just uh, like how pointy it is and it is really easy to draw like a wing liner if you want to. So here I am just curling my lashes just to prep them for mascara and you guys have actually chosen the May Maybelline Big Shot Mascara which I honestly think it's not too bad. Oh anyway guys, since I remember, okay, um, a lot of you guys have been asking what lenses I'm using. Um, this is actually the same lenses which I've used in my previous uh, tutorial or no, the video that I tried my new makeup product is the same lenses. Uh, I'll just have the direct link in the information box. Anyway, this is from Lofa Lens and if I'm not wrong, the shade is in Celebrity Brown or something like that. I'll have the exact link in the info, mo info box, <laughs> so just check it out. Okay, so for the waterline and tightline, you guys have chosen the Colourpop Mr. Bing, which is a collab with Kathy Knight. And for some reason, I feel that this colour doesn't appear in this video. I don't know why. But normally it does. But yeah, so anyway, I after this, I just move on to fill in my brows using the Anastasia Brow Pomade that you guys have chosen. And this is a technique that I have been adopting as of late, which is to carve out the outlines of my brows first. I will start off with the lower part and then I move on to the upper part and then I fill in my brows and especially towards the inner corners I normally do it like super light-handedly because I don't like my inner corners to be too dark because it's just so harsh looking and I do not like that. Okay, and then to set them brows, I'm using this brow gel from Benefit, which is not my favorite because it is non-tinted. I have never really, I'm not really a fan of non-tinted brow gel to be honest, but it works well. So to bronze up my skin, I'm using this Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. And I'm using this brush from Wet n Wild, which is a 
amazing i love it guys love it so much i normally use this to bronze up my skin and sometimes i use it to apply my blush as well and it's so soft it picks up product really well and it blends amazingly well so you guys have to check out this brush from wet and wild which i which i actually got from boogie's watson's so you may want to go ahead and get one for yourself As for blush, I am using this Dim Infusion shade by Hourglass which you guys have chosen and I love it. I love it so much. It gives a very pretty pinkish glow on my cheeks. But this blush is so expensive. Oh my god. So using the same shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, I am using an angled brush to contour my nose slightly. And of course, like I usually do, just take a blending brush and blend out any harsh edges so that it won't, like you know, the contour won't look too harsh. Oh yes, I almost forgot this step and it is actually lip balm. So this is actually my first time using the MAC Lip, no, MAC Prep and Prime lips and it's really nice. It's really very smooth. It smells good as well and you guys have opted for the fix plus matte and this is also my first time using it and usually what i'll do is i learned it from my makeup artist friend diana and she taught me um, before applying highlighter just spray a little bit of setting spray let it like dry till about 70 to 80 percent and then apply your highlight and that way it will make your highlight appear really really gorgeous and vibrant like what you're seeing in the footage over here so pretty and anyway for highlight i'm using the champagne pop by jacqueline hill collab with becca this unfortunately break me out yeah so i avoid using it i usually um, put it in my makeup kit and it look and it looks gorgeous on all of my clients i love it so much and onto the lips this is my first time trying out the mac retro matte liquid lipstick and i gotta say i love love this shade so much this is gonna be my new obsession uh, the only complaint that i have about this is the applicator you will look at how pissed i am with the applicator i like that it's doe food but i guess it will be a little bit better if see i'm <laughs> I look very annoyed. Uh, yeah, I feel that the applicator itself should be slightly bent so it is easier for me to apply the liquid lipstick on my upper lips because I feel that it's too straight so it's a little bit difficult to apply the liquid lipstick. Okay, uh, and then back to the setting spray once again just to seal all of my makeup in. And finally, for my false lashes, you guys have chosen uh, the Elise eyelashes and this is like so good guys really like I like to use Elise eyelashes on myself because it is so comfortable they are very very comfortable and they are very affordable as well and I love this style that I have on and so that's my makeup done and I'm gonna go and do my hair okay so that's it for the tutorial and i am back with a finished look try to do my hair like try to do like some curls but i don't know because it's been so many years since i've curled my hair anyway i really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video i hope you guys have found this video helpful and hopefully you have like some sort of an idea of you know what kind of look you may want to put on this is actually not going to be my look for the first day of it because i don't think i'm going to be putting on a lot of makeup this it just because so i gotta say that i am kind of happy with how this look turns out it is a little bit burgundy ish so if you guys are wearing something red black white cream pink you guys can just go ahead and um, you know recreate this look but of course you don't have to use the exact product that i have in my collection of course you can just opt for a drugstore alternative if i'm not wrong maybelline or l'oreal has more or less the similar shades of the color range that is available in this mac palette of course you don't have to use this mac palette so just do whatever that you are comfortable with use whatever products that you already own and honestly for this lip color i think that 
a burgundy dark maroon color will be a really really nice color or if not you can opt for a nude color as well if you're watching this on thursday and tomorrow is friday so it'll be the first day of eid uh, eid mubarak to all of you who are celebrating and for those of you who are not um, just happy long weekend to you in case if i've ever said anything that has hurt any one of your feelings uh, from the bottom of my heart i apologize and i really hope that you guys will enjoy um, the festive season together with your friends and family i guess we've that being said, uh, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And of course, just hit that bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video, which is usually every Thursday at 7 a.m. If you have any kinds of requests that you want me to do, like, you know, any kind of videos, uh, just leave your comment in the comment section down below and I am looking forward to see your comments. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!